Hi donors. So I've got a genetic test here from Invitae and I'm going to show you really quick how to use this. So when you get your test, it's gonna come in a box like this. And when you open it, there's gonna be two pieces of paper on the top. There's this one with your instructions. It tells you everything that's inside. So you have an instruction card, a saliva tube, patient information card, a clinical bag for FedEx, airway bill, and a specimen bag. Um, this next little card is what you're going to need to send us to activate your kit. So it just looks like a little business card, but on the back, you have a IB number. So that number is just at the very bottom of the serial code here. And this is the number you're going to have to text your egg donor coordinator, and then we can register your test. If we've sent you an email to do this yourself and you have access to your Invitae account, then you would just log in to your portal where it asks your IV number, you enter this in. So depending how we've ordered this test, you're going to give us this number or have access to your portal to do that yourself. Um, if it's not just right on the top when you open your kit, when you lift up your saliva tube, it should just be under right in here. So now you've taken those instructions, just kind of set them to the side. You've got your tube, open up the rest of your kit. Here's your specimen bag. So your tube of saliva is gonna go in here when we're done. And you've got several little sheets, so there's one from Invite here, then I've got a To Whom It Concerns letter, then I've got three of the same forms that are also from Invite, and these, this is your customs use form. So they look like this on the back, so just kind of put these three to the side as well. And then you're going to see your FedEx airway bill, so this just put to the side. Next, FedEx envelope, put it to the side. And last but not least, your big FedEx envelope. So as well, let's just put this to the side. So we've just got a couple different piles. Now I'm gonna put my box away. We've got FedEx pile here. I've got my um, saliva tube and specimen bag kind of right in the middle my instructions right as well then I've got my other two instructions I'm just gonna put in the front with that pile my Invitae bills over and then my to whom it concerned letter with my Invitae custom use bills so um, this when we open what's inside has our instructions laid out. So in here, in order to provide your saliva sample, we have step one, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're pretty straightforward. If you read this and have any questions, reach out to myself, Sarah, um, or whoever your donor coordinator might be with her helping habit, and we will help you. But everything you need is in here. This instruction kit is for shipping instructions. So now I'm just gonna kind of put it over on the side with my FedEx pile, and I'm gonna do my saliva test. So, first I need to label my tube. So if you open up your kit, I've got this tube I've actually already labeled. So on here, you're going to put your legal first name and last name your date of birth, month, day, year, and the collection date, so today's date as well on the tube, which I do not have. So you can see this is just a fake name. I've got up here Athanos, uh, last name, date of birth, and then down below an RQ number. So if you actually know your RQ number, great, you can put that in. Um, if we haven't given you an RQ number, don't worry about it, leave that blank. And then down below, I will fill in today's date because this is the day we're collecting the sample. Okay, so once that's all done, just put it to the side. I'm gonna put it on my specimen bag so it's not gonna get dirty. And then there's another little instruction kit in here. 
So this is going to specifically tell you about the uh, spitting aspect and how to do that. So yay, lots more instructions. Uh, we've got several different languages here if you might need, but really and truly this one, two, five step is all you need. So we want to spit to fill to the line right here. Then we are going to close our cap. We're gonna twist it off. And then in our little box, you have a, another lid. So once we're like, this lid is already prepackaged, should, should be on. We use this to collect our saliva, spit in, take it off, seal it nice with your final cap. And then this part here, you can just discard. And then once that's done, um, we're gonna put it back in here and it's gonna be ready to ship off. We're gonna have to uh, shake it for five seconds as well. So let's just do this together. If you would like, there's also instructions at the top of your kit here that kind of summarize what's on this long paper. Um, only thing that is really important to remember before you do this test, do not eat, drink, or smoke for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample, and that includes chewing gum, okay? So no smoking, you shouldn't be smoking anyways if you're a donor, um, but no eating, drinking, or chewing gum 30 minutes before giving this sample. So I'm good, I haven't done any of that. Now this takes a little bit to fill, but we'll just do it. It takes most people two to five minutes to provide a saliva sample. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do that. You just close your mouth, and wiggle your tongue left to right. You can also make chewing motions with your mouth. You can gently rub the outside of your cheeks just behind your back teeth. Smell or imagine smelling sour foods such as a lemon. And lastly, you can think about your favorite food. So those are a few suggestions I recommend trying. So once you're done taking your saliva sample, you just want to make sure that your saliva goes right up to the line and that your bubbles are above the line. So when I was doing this, I thought I was almost done, but I was at the line and that included bubbles. So I had bubbles just below here, so I needed to give more. Now my saliva is right up to the line and my bubbles are over that. So just make sure we really need enough saliva, otherwise um, you might have to do another kit um, sometimes and that's another thing to just be aware of really careful with your labeling because if there's any error with the labeling or not enough saliva they will deem the sample as invalid and we'll need another one so you can see I messed up actually writing my RQ number I just took some white out and I was able to rewrite that so that's something you can do as well but try to not mess that up like I did. So when you're done, you close your cap. You wanna hear that loud click. Okay, once you hear the click, uh, we are going to unscrew this part. Okay, now you can just throw this in the garbage. Gross, lots of saliva still stuck in there. Then you wanna take your good clean cap that was in this container and use this to seal the deal. Okay, and now once this is done, we shake our cap for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and you're done. Okay, so we just want in here, when you close the cap, there was a bunch of liquid in the very top of the cap. So closing it dropped that liquid in here, and you just wanna make sure to shake the solution that was in here with your saliva so that it's preserved on route to lab. So once you're done with this, perfect. We are going to actually not put it back in the box. You're gonna put it in this little bag for the sample. Now don't forget, I'm actually gonna do this in case you're following along with me, writing today's date. So that's not the best writing that you can see I've got February 3rd, 2023 now on my collection date. Try to make it a little bit neater than I did. And then you can drop it, you're good to go, assuming the label is fully filled out. 
Okay, so now it's in here. And we peel to expose the adhesive internally. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we rip this. Try to not have any air. And just seal that bag. Okay, so now this is sealed. Specimen done. Next, part two.